Hi, welcome back. I will show you today how to replace the battery in a 15 inch MacBook Pro whether it's an early or a late 2011 or a mid 2012 is the same process. Tools that you require a Phillips screwdriver a tri point or tri lobe screwdriver and a spurger tool part required will be your replacement battery unplug and shut down the macbook pro close the macbook pro and now flip it over On the bottom you have 10 Phillips screws to remove. Three of these are long screws and they are 13.5 mm screws. Let's open them turning anti-clockwise. Keep these screws aside in a safe place so that you don't lose them. Now remove the 7 3mm Phillips screws. Now using both hands, lift the lower case near the vents, like so. Keep the lower case aside. The battery on this Mac was removed a couple of years back, as the battery was not holding a charge and had bloated. For battery removal demonstration purposes, I have already set the battery in the MacBook Pro. Now use the edge of a spurger to pry the battery connector upwards on both the sides. and pull the collector upwards bend the battery connector slightly away from a socket on the logic board so it does not accidentally connect itself while you work on it then you will need to remove these two one out here 7.4 mm tri-point screws which secures the battery to the upper case the other one is out here and the third one you need to flip this part out on top do not peel the label from the battery It's located out here. I've already removed it. Turn anti clockwise to remove. Use the attached plastic pull tab to remove the battery from the upper case, like so.
Now let's install the new battery. Set the outside edge of the new battery so that the indentations in the cover line up with the screw mounts on the surface. Then lay it flat in the battery compartment. Now put back the three tri low battery screws. Turning clockwise to tighten. Now put back the battery connector into its socket. Like so. Now let's put back the bottom cover. Push down in the center so that the snaps get engaged. Now put back the 10 screws that hold the bottom cover. Let's start with the three long screws. Turn clockwise. Now replace the seven screws which are all of the same size. Now flip the MacBook Pro over. Open it up. And now let's turn it on. The battery is working. Now that the battery is installed and is working, you will need to calibrate the new battery. Now to calibrate the battery, shut down the MacBook. Now you will need to attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber color to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is charged 100% it should turn green. Once it has been charged leave it connected for approximately 2 hours. At this time you can use your MacBook instead of keeping it off. Now after 2 hours you will need to discharge the battery. Before that, in the energy saver preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery. Now disconnect the cable. And let the battery discharge completely until the laptop shuts down. You can still use it at this time but don't do some heavy work. Once the battery is completely discharged, the MacBook Pro will automatically shut down. And leave it for approximately 5 hours till the battery is completely drained. Now after 5 hours and after totally draining the battery, reattach the power cable. Charge your MacBook battery uninterrupted to 100% and at this time you can use your MacBook while charging. You can set your energy saver settings back to what they were before.
now you can use your macbook normally that will be all hope this is of help and thanks for watching